Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. African swine fever is having a major impact on the hog industry in China and other parts of Asia. Now there's concern the virus could spread to the U.S. SUNUP's Curtis Hare takes a look at how the state of Oklahoma is preparing. In August 2018, the first cases of African swine fever were detected in China. It spread and devastated the pig population. Now there is concern that the highly infectious virus will make its way to the U.S. So the virus is spread through all bodily fluids, um, but the primary spread that we're seeing right now is what we call a sandwich effect. Um, so the virus actually stays viable within um, processed meats and cured meats. African swine fever is not a human health concern. It is not a food safety concern. Dr. Alicia Gorsica Sutherland is a staff veterinarian with the Oklahoma Department of Agricultural Food and Forestry. She says this form of viral movement is why Asian countries have been hit so hard and why the level of concern is so high here in the U.S. So there are different um, virulent strains, but it ranges from what we call high morbidity, high mortality, so um, very acute deaths, um, everything in the barn dies, to one or two uh, within a herd start to become ill and then it just kind of slowly starts to spread. Um, that's the virus strain that we're the most concerned of because it could potentially be missed at first because it looks and mimics like any type of endemic disease. As soon as we were notified that uh, African swine fever was spreading in China, not just Oklahoma, but, but other states, USDA uh, began to get concerned and, and we all started ramping up our, our plans. So we started in November last year with a four state meeting, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas and Colorado and the state vets and the USDA vets. Roy Lee Lindsay is executive director of the Oklahoma Port Council. He says illnesses are always a concern, but African swine fever is different. It was apparent that we needed to make sure we were doing preparedness for ASF specifically. Uh, we were one of the first states to have that kind of sit down, certainly one of the first to have that across state lines reach to other state veterinarians. In September is we had a four day long what we call a functional exercise and each day addressed a different um, response action. We talked about um, conducting a foreign animal disease investigation. So that was with us sending out our uh, foreign animal disease diagnosticians out to a producer, collecting samples, getting those to the, to the uh, laboratory in Stillwater, but also to the federal laboratory uh, in New York. Finding ways to stop pork movement, depopulation and disposal, and finally, permitting and securing the pork supply. We move pigs across state lines all the time. It was imperative that our state veterinarian, the state vet in Kansas, the state vet in Texas, uh, work together so that we have the similar kind of response to any disease outbreak. Animals can shed the virus in many different ways, and pigs can pick it up in garbage containing infected pork products. A key component of the preparedness plan is making sure a problem that already exists in Oklahoma doesn't get worse. But if it were to get into a uh, show pig producer in southeastern Oklahoma, say, where there are a lot of feral swine, uh, then I, I don't know how we would ever get rid of it. Uh, it's why we talk often about one of the biosecurity requirements we talk about is how do you protect your herd from feral pigs? What kind of fencing? What kind of separation? What do you have that keeps feral hogs away from your population? Although scary, Oklahoma Secretary of Agriculture Blaine Arthur says the state is ready if an outbreak happens. We are as prepared as we know how to be working with our federal partners, state partners, and industry. In an emergency type situation or any type of animal health outbreak, there are things that we can't anticipate. Which is why communication is necessary. You know, we're not going to have the first case of African swine fever here at the Ag Building. It's going to be on a farm somewhere out in Oklahoma. And in 21 years, I think this has been the most dominant issue, uh, what I've spent working on, and, and I think that speaks volumes to how seriously we're taking uh, this threat. In Oklahoma County, I'm Curtis Hare.